The National Assembly kicked off a three day questioning session on government affairs this Wednesday. On hand to field a barrage of questions was the newly appointed Prime Minister Yi Wan Gu, who's made his Assembly debut. Our Pak Jiwon tells us more. Prime Minister Yi Wan Gu, who was confirmed to take the nation's second highest position just last week, made his debut at a parliamentary government questioning session on this Wednesday. Putting the utmost priority on reviving the economy, I will focus on government reforms on diverse sectors. I will respect and cooperate with the assembly, which represents the will of the people. During the session covering political, diplomatic and security issues, Lee took a prudent approach to addressing sensitive topics, especially questions related to North Korean policies, while also reaffirming the Park administration's stance. Experts say the 65-year-old former politician, still reeling from his tough confirmation hearing, will probably continue with this low-key approach as he tries to communicate the president's goals. As a former floor leader of the ruling camp, he's likely to show more respect to parties at the assembly, which could benefit President Park Geun-hye's image and give her more leeway in state affairs. Former Prime Minister Chung Hoon Won failed to play the role of messenger and communicator for the administration. Seven government ministers, including those dealing with foreign unification, justice and defense affairs, were also present at the session, taking questions posed by a dozen lawmakers from the ruling and main opposition parties. They touched on a range of issues, from a constitutional revision and potential missile defense plans to proposals to reform the pension system. Sessions scheduled for Thursday and Friday will focus on economic, social and cultural affairs. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.